Hello, my name is Chuck Van Dusen, and I'm the video systems architect here at Biamp Systems. I'd like to talk a little bit about HDCP. Most AV professionals have had some exposure to HDCP, and there are actually three different uh, areas in this standard that are of interest to us. Originally, HDCP came as version 1, and that has been extended now to version 1.4 as the current implementation, and that is a device uh, specific specification that is for connecting two different um, source and sync points over a wired connection. HDCP 2.2 expands on this and allows for some network connectivity between sources and sinks. What I'd like to focus on today is HDCP 2.2 Professional, which is specifically tailored for use inside professional AV. We have a chart showing some of the feature contrast and compare on these, and you'll notice that HDCP 1.x has a fan-out capability of up to 128 devices, but is not appropriate for network devices and cannot be used for high-value content, such as the Type 1 content that studios are using for UHD theatrical releases. 2.2 does allow for support of networks and does allow for type 1 content, but because of its topology limits, it can only serve up to 32 devices total, of which the source and the network repeater count toward that total, so you typically have fewer than 15 or so screens involved in the actual deployment. HDCP 2.2 Professional removes these topology limits so that you have an unrestricted number of uh, endpoint devices and an unrestricted number of levels you can go through. It still does the locality check so that you can't send stuff to a different country. But of course, you aren't going to be doing that in a professional installed system anyway. It does provide for a much improved leave join tolerance and it does provide for the support of type 1 content. In order to do this, it uh, requires a little more involvement in the term of the AV professional in that now the installer needs to be uh, a licensed uh, entity inside the DCP structure of things as much as the manufacturer of the devices. HDCP 2.2 professional is implemented uh, by using a 2.2 professional repeater which is uh, capable of doing its own system renewal message um, checks against all the devices below it. And therefore, it provides for the third leg of the DCP uh, authentication, uh, renewal, and encryption. Uh, so the uh, AV professional now has the ability to uh, provide for a very large system installation of unlimited number of devices uh, and uh, unrestricted uh, levels of uh, network connectivity, provided they are in a uh, venue that is approved by the DCP. The second uh, graphic that you see in this presentation is the whitelist of those approved sites. And a uh, professional uh, repeater can be used for these kinds of uh, applications such as cruise ships and airports and large venues, uh, conference centers, uh, hospitals, that sort of thing. It's clearly not the intent of DCP to allow for such unrestricted distribution in uh, uh, multi-residence uh, dwellings and the sorts of things that one might uh, consider are reasonable constraints of content, such as dormitories, that sort of thing. But you will find that this list provides for quite a large variety of pre-approved venues. It's also uh, possible to petition the uh, uh, DCP for additional kinds of venues should you find one that is important in your application that doesn't appear on this list. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insights, tutorials, and answers to frequently asked questions.